As well as leaving many motorists frustrated, the high demand for fuel is beginning to impact on businesses. Let's join Chris James now. He's at a petrol station in Bristol for us. Chris, how's it looking there this evening? Well, Sarah Jane, things are calming down a little here this evening at the Winterstoke Road garage at Ashton in Bristol. But it's a very different scene from how it was this afternoon and early this evening, where cars were queuing off the forecourt, down the road, round the mini roundabout and right around the corner. It's been a similar picture right across the west for many garages as well. And Scott Ellis reports now on Friday's fuel picture rush hour this morning and the beginning of the steady stampede to the pumps. Demand for petrols risen 172 per cent and by midday to homeowners asking them not to store fuel at home. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West. Well, bus services in Bath were severely affected this afternoon thanks to people queuing up on four courts on the Lower Bristol Road and on the London Road, causing congestion across the city of Bath. Here in Bristol tonight, though, at the Winterstoke Road garage, they're out of diesel here. But, you know, the thing to remember in days to come is if you come to a petrol station with no fuel, it's just a matter of hours before a delivery comes in. The other thing to remember is just don't panic. A tanker strike is not on the cards at the moment. There won't be one for at least two weeks if there's to be a tanker driver strike at all. Chris James in Bristol. Many thanks indeed. The owners of a